Good morning. Today we are in southern Croatia, Dubrovnik, the town known for Game of Thrones. We got here yesterday and we walked around down here last night just looking for dinner and it wasn't half as crowded as this. I guess right now the tour buses are starting to roll in. But we are currently in the old city now. We're going to walk around this trail. Alright, here goes our first stop. We're going to go up on top of these walls and walk around the old city and explore from above the wall. It's one of the recommended things to do here in Dubrovnik. And it was 250 kuna. Here we go, up onto the wall. people waiting to get their pictures taken and yada yada. But the view is pretty phenomenal. Pigeons are crazy. All right, we started all the way over here and then walked up here, up to there, and then down. And then later tonight for dinner, I think we're gonna go all the way up here on the top of this mountain and see if we can't catch us a sunset. It was pretty hot when we started this little hiking around the city walls, but the clouds have come and the breeze has picked up a little bit, so we'll keep our Just fingers crossed. Yeah, not many, not a lot of breeze. So. Yeah. So many good smells up here. So the walls of this old city were built between the 12th and the 17th century. 
but the town here was established in the 9th century. walking around the old city walls. It took us maybe, what, 45 minutes, 50 minutes? There was not too many crowds so for us. We got through pretty quick just now. Um, again, it's pretty expensive for a little walk around the wall tops here. There's nothing else up here but the views. They are great views. So just keep that in mind. If you like to walk five steps and pay a lot of money, this is the thing for you. <laughs> <laughs> and if you come here hungry, they do have some really nice little restaurants and things placed on top. Um, actually, they seem more like drinking spots, right? Everybody seems to be drinking something. Just bring euros because I just heard them saying they don't take cash. Yeah, they don't take US dollars, so bring the euro. Or, oops, or the Croatian kuna. Alright, now we are headed to... The next stop. The next stop. We're not going to tell you yet. Walking around inside the city walls. Everything is gelato shops, restaurants that all serve the same Italian foods, pizza, lasagna, cappuccinos, and then of course every other shop after that is Game of Thrones. There they are, right behind you. You can't walk 10 feet without it. They really, they just love it here. That's what they're basing their economy on. They were, our landlord was even telling us that. Alyssa was saying they added flights straight from the U.S. to here. And here come the tourist buses. It's so much more alive today than it was yesterday. So last night when we walked through here, those people, musicians weren't here. So the old town got pretty crowded. Very, very hot this afternoon. So we decided to take a little break and do what we do. We found ourselves. So loud. So loud. <laughs> so we found ourselves a little hookah bar and we're gonna get some work done now. Here she is editing. Woohoo! Got our laptops and getting a little work done here. So before we wrap up the day, what did you think of Dubrovnik so far? It's expensive. Yeah, it's, it's a little expensive. expensive. Kind of like split a little better than here. But... I feel as in split there was a little bit more to do with the, I don't know, all the tours leaving right from there. We haven't really looked at many tours from here, but I think split had more islands and whatnot to explore. Yeah, more activities on the islands, I think. And it was a little bit cheaper than here. This is pretty much one of the more expensive places we've come. Alright guys, here we go. A little surprise for you. Special sunset from the top of the world. <laughs> Our last stop of the day. Once you get up here on top of the mountain and check out the incredible view, you gotta go inside and hide because it's freezing up here, it's so windy. 
But there is some buggy tours. They take you around the area here on these little dune buggies. All you can do on a less windy day, you can do some zip lining and head down the coast that way on a zip line. But we just did zip lines a few weeks ago in Costa Rica, so this doesn't compare to that, right? Yeah. I'd be disappointed, I think. I feel like I got ripped off. Right? Yeah, everything here is super expensive. To come up here cost us 400, um, whatever they're yeah. called, Kuna. Kuna. Well, we found the trail. That can only mean one thing. Let's take a hike. Now that's going to be a $50 sunset. Alright guys, so while we sit up here and enjoy this sunset, you guys hit that subscribe button for us. So you leave a comment and a like. See you in the next video from country number 30.